Kalamazoo Public Schools, once again the target of another legal matter. A senior at Kalamazoo Central High School has filed a complaint with the U.S. Department of Education, claiming that the district administrators did nothing after she and her service dog were bullied. News 8's David Horak joins us live from our Kalamazoo studio after speaking with her and her mother. David? Emily and Brian, Alyssa Douglas, a senior at Kalamazoo Central, was diagnosed in fall of 2021 with dyslexia as well as high anxiety and depression. She relies on her owner-trained service dog, Moxie, a German Shepherd mix. And from the day she met him, Alyssa says he has been a lifesaver. Well, we spent like five minutes with them and I'm like, yep, there was something that just clicked. And he has been amazing since. While studying at Kalamazoo Central, Alyssa says Moxie helps her curb panic attacks and calm an overwhelming mind. Oxygen levels just plummeted and my heart rate skyrocketed. I, I, I don't have it on today. I keep forgetting to charge it. I usually have like a little Apple watch on there and I, it hits around 180 so often. And it's, I noticed, I'm like, wow, that's not normal. I, <laughs> so. But he helps me a lot with that. He's very in tune with my emotions. So if I'm stressed, he lets me know. But on October 10th of last year, both of them were more than overwhelmed when a group of boys at her school would not stop harassing them. He was just laying there against the lockers, so not in the middle of the hallway or anything. And a student ran up and jumped in the air with both feet and landed on his tail. And since the way he was curled up, it was inches away from his neck. She filed a report with the assistant principal in charge of security, but instead of disciplining the students, she says they ultimately chose to have her and Moxie eat lunch in the office without visitors on claims of security concerns. That makes me feel like I'm the problem. And it was very upsetting to hear that coming from an upper level administrator telling me we're not gonna do anything sucks to suck. Her family filed an ADA and Rehabilitation Act of 1973 complaint against Kalamazoo Public Schools with the U.S. Department of Education. I think it speaks to the culture of the school system um, and I think it needs to be addressed on a systemic level. I have a disability that requires a special accommodations but I'm not disabled enough for their standards to get something that will that I don't need necessarily because I don't need an individual education plan. I just need the basics and they can't even provide the basics and just under help them understand what they're doing is wrong. A U.S. Department of Ed spokesperson told us that they cannot comment on pending investigations and we have yet to hear back from Kalamazoo Public Schools. We're live in our Kalamazoo studio, David Horak, News 8. Brian.